So today we, we came together with the Polish consulate and uh, some members of the Polish military and honored the heroes from World War I, World War II, uh, visited some of the sites within a couple of the cemeteries. At each site we, we walked up and actually had a few candles uh, that were lit, both red and white candles, and then also we laid a wreath in honor of all of the fallen, whether it be in World War I or World War II. We approached each cemetery site and, and paid our respects, conducted a 21-gun salute on the U.S. side, and paid homage to all of those fallen heroes that, that Poland recognizes for their freedom. It was an honor to be a part of the ceremony and render salutes with the Polish Army during each of the ceremonies to pay respect for the fallen. We ended the, the day with attendance of a Polish festival, which not only recognized the Armed Force Day for Poland, but also uh, the harvest. And so it's a seasonal celebration that they have, just happens to coincide with the Polish Armed Forces Day. So there are a lot of civilians in attendance that we had the honor of, of speaking with. I actually got to speak to a civilian who was part of World War II on the Russian front. And so that was a great honor to be able to sit and chat with him for a period of time with ultimately the greatest generation. So, and then at the end we, we ate kielbasa and had traditional Polish cabbage and potato cakes and it was an amazing, amazing time. And just the camaraderie and the ability to sit down and talk and, and share food was, was a great privilege for, for all of us. I, I can't say enough that uh, the future is bright between Poland and the United States and specifically the Illinois Army National Guard. Our bond is stronger than it ever has been and I see a bright future for, for both countries as we continue to support them and, and they have also supported us to protect their freedom and their nation. So very honored to be a part of that and continue to be a part of a bright future for Poland.